So hi, Micro Hunter here. Well, sometimes it's faster and easier to make a video than to type in an, uh, a response into the comments or in an email. Um, and I think it's an interesting question again that I got. And specifically, there was a question about uh, connecting um, a camera, DSLR camera to an adapter. Um, and it's about uh, the fact that the most, uh, most of the cases, uh, they either sell adapters for Canon or for Nikon. But what happens now if you have a Sony camera? And uh, I just want to talk about this uh, briefly it does not only apply to big adapters, original adapters from Olympus like I have here, but the rule also applies to smaller adapters uh, yeah, like, like this here. And what I specifically want to show you is, is that those two adapters that I have here, even though they look very similar, okay, uh, actually they are almost the same, uh, both from Olympus there is an important difference between those two besides the color. Um, this one here has uh, an Olympus OM mount um, already um, yeah, screwed on, uh, so I can only connect an Olympus camera here um, and there is no possibility for me to take this off, okay. Um, and the other adapter here is different, the other adapter, you can take it off here and this is a so-called a T2 adapter ring. Okay, so um, when you take it off, uh, it looks uh, very different of course. Okay, it takes some time. Yeah, you see that there is uh, of course a threading here um, and uh, this means that uh, depending on which camera you have, you can get yourself um, your own uh, T2 adapter ring and then you can connect it here and then you can connect it to the camera, okay? Um, that's, that's clear, okay? By the way, the same thing here as well, okay? Uh, same system you have over here, um, on top I'm not going to take it off now uh, completely, you have a T2 adapter ring um, and it's mounted on here, okay? So um, you might wonder why um, is there such a big size difference, this has to do something with the optics, okay? So the optics here is uh, different than the photo projection eyepiece that I have here, okay? That's a different issue. So, but now of course uh, this, uh, there's the question now, how in the world can I get this one over here um, connected? Uh, how can I get the Olympus, Olympus uh, um, adapter here connected to a Canon camera. And for this uh, there's also a solution you need so-called secondary adapters which convert one camera system to the next and in this case I think it should be easy because uh, this one here the Olympus one is smaller than the Canon one um, and uh, you get yourself one of these and uh, I don't know if this exists from all, every camera to every other camera but at least uh, here it works and then you simply have to also find the red dot here again. Um, yeah here it is. Um, it goes on here Okay, if I can, no. Okay, you get the idea. Yeah, here it is, okay. Um, and then you turn it, it locks into place. And if you want to release it again, you have to press uh, this button here and then you can release this, okay? Um, so that is basically the thing. And uh, the, of course, it's about, I don't know, millimeter, two millimeters. Um, forget about this. This will have no consequence on your image quality, okay? Um, this uh, small difference here. There is, yeah. So that is basically all I wanted to quickly explain to you. Um, so if uh, you basically see on Amazon um, those adapters uh, that they sell only with Canon or Nikon, um, then check that they basically have this T2 adapter ring and if they have it then you'd simply buy the one for, from Canon or Nikon, um, you take off the adapter ring and uh, get yourself a Sony adapter of whatever camera system you have. Uh, so you have to check first whether actually they have a T2 Sony adapters for example and then you simply you know, exchange it and uh, you're ready to go. Wish you all the best, happy microbe hunting as always, see you around next time.